this film manages to cover so many of the big American topics from family dynamics to class, race, drug addiction, incarceration, masculinity, and yet never with a heavy hand. I think that's a quite, quite an accomplishment. Um, I'll start by asking Trey, you know, I mean, uh, Kelvin, you had every, you had choice of whatever role you wanted here and you chose the role of Tyler. Why did you choose that one? Um, well, I really, I wanted, it originally started, I just wanted the most challenging role, in my opinion. <laughs> and, um, you know, he's, what he told me, he was like, there's the, the brother in the first half who's a wrestler, and there's the boyfriend in the second half. And it, it really just came down to logistics of just being, uh, not, not me being, not, not, not being an athlete. And then from there, it was... Uh, just discussing the, the the parallels between our lives and sharing our stories about what our relationships were like with our father and, my, and our romantic relationships. So I was really excited to kind of dive in and explore what it meant to be a young black male and, and middle class and which mirrored my family in a lot of ways. And so that was what really got me into the movie. Trey, you guys have worked together before. So what was it like uh, collaborating on this? Because you guys developed this role together and to some degree even the role of Ronald. Yeah. How was that work? Um, it, it was beautiful. Uh, best collaboration of my life. Um, <laughs> well, we, we did, we made a movie before and that's how we met and we loved each other and wanted to make something together again. And at that point, there wasn't, uh, you know, the broad strokes for the story were there. There wasn't a title, there weren't character names, but it was like uh, the, the outline and everything. And I started talking to Kel about it then. And then, you know, we just like got closer over a year. And then um, after that movie came out, uh, I started writing and that's why yeah we basically started having these like mini therapy sessions we called them <laughs> where uh, we were just talking about our past like Kel was saying we're talking about um, what it felt like at that age and our relationships and dynamics and commonalities and differences and nuances and everything in between it and so I was basically writing with just having these conversations with him and digging in and everything. And then he got a draft uh, about like eight months or more before we started shooting. And then, um, and then it just continued and it kept evolving. So like at that point, uh, you know, we'd go through it and study it and Kelvin will overanalyze and study everything <laughs> to death, which I love about him. He's incredibly smart. And um, we would just do that a lot. And, and we would get to, um, you know, uh, Tyler and his father and the family and the dynamics and, in nuances there and going over and over and to where now it feels like, yeah, I think especially Ty is like a combination of that collaboration and I think if it feels special and unique, that's why, you know. I was dazzled by this. I mean, you're, you know, at first it was, it's, you know, it's dizzying and energetic and, and, and intimate and then you, then you realize that it's actually really limbing the inner mindset of, of the character, of the lead character. And then in part two, it's a very different, uh, very different approach with, with Emily. Uh, can you talk about that both from an artistic point of view and also a technical point of view? Yeah. Uh, well, basically everything we're doing with the filmmaking is just to get you closer to these kids' heads, you know? So it, uh, like what you said, it, we're trying to make their internal feeling come across with the colors, with the camera movement, with the ratios, with the music, and really just trying to make this subjective immersive experience. So if that's a camera spinning through a car, it's because that's what their love in that moment feels like. That's what that freedom at that age in your car with the person you love, uh, with their relationship, their, their love is like a bottle of fire, you know? So like, the, to me, the only way to spiritually bring that across is to literally spin with them. And then, and then and, but then that changes, you know? And like, if it, the camera will, uh, the camera and the filmmaking will fluctuate with whatever's going on with their journey and their arc and their story and their emotions. So it, there's, sure, it's crazy fluid and spinning through a car, but then when Emily is taking over and her world has just been de devastated and fallen apart, you know, we're in four by three, uh, shallow focus, long lenses, isolating her from her environment. The camera's not moving at all because that's how she's feeling. And uh, I also want to give a shout out to Drew Daniels, my yes. DP. He's, uh, I think, the best in the world. And uh, we made every movie together. And um, yeah, long-winded answer of basically we're just trying to do everything to make it a very emotional, subjective, immersive experience and um, make it feel like either you're literally seeing through their, these kids' eyes, Tyler and Emily, or you're feeling through them, or it feels like if it's just father and daughter on a bench, you're sitting right there next to them. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was amazing. I felt the same way about your, your score from Trent Reznor and his uh, collaborator Atticus Ross. 
you guys have done something really amazing with that. Can you talk a little bit about those, those strategies, the uh, the sort of uh, themes that were put under every character that wound up weaving out throughout the entire film? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think especially for the score, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of soundtrack. Yeah. There's a lot of music and a lot of songs. So um, I was a bit terrified when I sent a script with like 30 plus songs to Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, <laughs> being like, "Where do I fit into this?" And it was the total opposite. They were really excited, and um, it became about um, differentiating that and making it about sort of again the interiorness of the characters, almost like the subconscious and the spirit coming out and connecting. And I think especially between brother and sister, you know, because it really is their story and they're rarely together. So like they're connected through the music and these color interludes. And um, so they did that with things of like literally taking sounds from the film and manipulating them and using them musically to, you know, why they pick a piano and piano themes because Tyler, Tyler loves the piano and like, so really just trying to get across their interior spirit and this sort of connection and almost the spirit of the movie and this link that's happening between the yin and the yang and the two halves and how that makes it the whole. And I just think the score is so huge um, to, to all of that coming together. And then Kelvin, in terms of preparing for Tyler, beyond the change of hair color, what else, what else went on? I mean, it was interesting because what I saw in the script was that we really, Trey really wanted to explore masculinity and toxic masculinity and vulnerability and, and, and by casting me in a young black man. And I think Frank really encapsulates what that is. You know, his music's so pure and so sensitive and so just honest. And I think, but Tyler was just like hearing that and, and seeing that it was like, this is, this is what is kind of making, it's kind of filling him up inside. This is what is inside that he doesn't feel like he can let out. Right. So it's just like, I was just constantly feeling that center of a, of so many secrets, so many things that's just bottling up, that's just pressing on him. And Frank and, you know, even Pharrell, did read, you know, his new GQ cover, read Defining Masculinity, is you know, it's so much of what this boy is in this moment. He just hasn't had the outlet or the space to, to really express that. And so, um, yeah, we really wanted to kind of just to get into it all. I want to thank you guys both for your comments.